Welcome back, everyone, to the Gates of Versailles mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Uh, French Empire Lover, but right now this is where we're at. Westphalia has taken a lot of territory, but whatever. We've lost 129,000. This is called the Second Great War. And we've killed off over half a million of those North German uh, Confederation members. And we're doing okay for now. It's 1940, June 40th. June 40th? Oh, probably June 12th. Well, more like 13th or 14th at this point. But they're dead! So I just want to make sure that you saw everything that we did there. Well, at least... Before they all capitulated, um, Estalia, please. What the heck? No, you're not taking that. I'm taking it. Um, nope. Uh, still can't select all. Kind of sucks. Nope. That's nice. Got it. There you go. Nope. It's mine. It's mine. And once again, it's ours. Ostmark. You get nothing, and I get their navy, too. Ah! The French Empire. And the French Empire. I love the French Empire. Um, let's go look see. We have more military factions now because we had all those added to us, but do we have enough guns? We should have enough guns with you at the bottom then. Go. Cool. In the meantime, we are the Westminster Accord. There's various pockets throughout the world. Down there, we're not connected down there, which is actually really nice that we're not connected down there. We're down here too, which is not super great. I don't want to send tanks all the way down there. Continental Alliance. Well, it should be okay. We don't do anything there, or even anything down here. Oh God, Australia. Yeah, you're gonna die down there probably. Um, nothing down there. Nothing over there either. Republic of Canada. Just because we'll need to launch an invasion of. Let's go over there. In the meantime, we're actually going to go down south. So far south, it's Africa. American West Africa. Huh? Cool. Go do that. Go do that. Go do that. Because you're going to start training. And... Hmm. I'm going to do all sorts of stuff like this. Dover's is actually... Oh, own little huh? Interesting. That's different. Beautiful. So now we're doing the second military industrialization of metropolitan France, which is nice. Oh, you guys are down there. Get some more destroy efficiency just in case. Nice. Good computing machines, very good too. Well, a lot to, that we could do over there, or we could prepare the war. Get support for America first, though. Why not? Let time go on first. They'll probably attack us first anyways. Like they did in the last episode. It is 1940. Um, research speed is decent. Everything else is... Well, okay. Are we using military police at all? Um, ah. And now they go to war with us too. Any of you guys do not train while they're trying to blow us up. That'd be pretty bad overall. Naval bombers, we only have four. Oh god. Oh, they're down here too. Forgot about that. Which actually is a bad way for us to just start bombing the crap out of them. Oh, you're not even connected to anything. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Uh, 
I guess trap or something? It's taking me so long. So. It's wounded. Yeah, I can't figure as much. I don't really care as much, though. How many visions do I have? Two and one. It's not many. Not them come back. Oh. Not ideal. They want to attack, that's fine with me. I don't, we just don't have a lot of planes. Oh, and yeah, we're gonna need more resources here too. Uh, we can't make that much. I'll let some comms go through too. We could do that. Yeah, you might as well. <clears throat> we have some carrier planes. We got some casts. We got some smaller airframes. We're definitely going to need some naval bombers though. I guess we have no naval bombers. Well, that's a mistake. But we'll do that too. We'll do support for America. Increase naval funding like we saw earlier. Prepare for the war. Destroy the old rival. Dismantle the United Kingdom. Well, that'd be great to do. Pay Spain for the Catalonian regions. Uh, we read that one earlier too. We read those earlier. Third industrialization and then Project Diamant. Project Garbois Bleu. Uh, what else do we have here? We're definitely going to need uh, Army de, de la Air. So if you want to use this one again, please go ahead. Bomber focus. We're going to go with fighter focus. Fighter is the most important part of the Air Force. Securing the skies before staying on any other planes is crucial. Support of troops. Undeniably, the most important part of the armed forces are the ground forces. We need your planes to support them. Marine escorts. When Marines are en route to their destination, they're very vulnerable. When you make planes that can destroy enemy ships and a new age for aeronautics. The world is on the technological revolution. I also applies for airplanes. Before that long, uh, we'll have bombers that can go around the earth and back, fighters that can break the sound barrier, and cars that can fly with the rotor. This can come include the fact that you uploaded a video about the French during the King Charles coronation. That's right. Someone says, can you do the Pax Britannica, Hoy Formata, Reform of Britain? Maybe. Um, can you do the crawl of the first path of Austria in, in the age of imperialism? Probably. Eventually. Alright everyone, it's August 18th, 1942, in which we have actually finally naval invaded, um, well, the British. Casualties list for port first, though. We lost a quarter million. Not good. We've not had a raise of conscription level yet. I've still not called any of our allies in. Um, but we've killed off 1.4 million of the Brits, and the Russians joined the British Empire, so the Poles have done really well. When we killed off half a million of them ourselves, we sent an army over here to help them out. Just so that the Poles won't fall, and if the Poles fall, then, well, then we will fall pretty quickly too ourselves, so... I figured, you know what, that's probably the best idea to do that. Uh, ooh, some, some destroyers. But we're on the mainland, as you can see, in Dover. And it's time to go to town on these guys, because I'm, I'm tired of them. So, uh, ooh, better artillery. Very nice, very nice, very nice. We're doing okay. Oh, my God. What happened? We lost with improved carrier naval bomber. We destroyed 21 ba destroyers, three battleships, four light cruisers, 10 Blackburn Sharks planes, three more battleships, three light cruisers, 17 destroyers. Nice. Oh, it's because we have these uh, our, our actual fleet here. Yeah, we just demolish them with our actual fleet, so that's actually really cool. So just show up and just blow them up. And they also threw a crap ton of divisions around here too, so... You know, if we do this... They're going to have to start sending some uh, convoys down that direction, won't they? Win or lose, I mean... We're doing alright. We lost quite a few subs so far, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, research stuff. Uh, you do have anyways, because you can. Some gun stuff. They have some Russians here too, but whatever. And in the meantime, we're running out of manpower, which is not good. Cannons up, oh, artillery. Great. Good! And we're still investing in Algeria, so. We have pushed hard for the Polish Commonwealth. We've done very well for them. You guys, go scavenger, because we still need a lot of artillery. Level 4 infantry stuff. Not super concerned, not super concerned. Well, Moscow's fallen. That's pretty good. Uh, we just have to need more planes. Get more fighters. We definitely need more fighters on here. But we're doing really well. Once you invade the mainland, usually in almost every campaign, the AI just never, ever, ever has like divisions in the mainland, which I don't understand. The AIs. Well, that's what Ford's AI would expect. We should blow them up. Have a good old time. Yourselves. You all come back up here. Whatever. And just go in. You should be fine. You'll be fine too. Ah. 
Well, and there goes UK. Well then. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Well, oh, it took us until now. So. Well. Got a couple divisions here. Belfast. Well. Probably do that too. That'd be very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And I cut off all those divisions up here. Wow, they all encircled. Over 40 divisions stuck there. You can picture the Russians, which is going to take some serious time, but honestly, we could probably throw most of our divisions over here, even though the supply is really bad. I don't really want to get involved when supply is so bad. There we go. Cheers. Still making a couple more divisions, which is pretty nice overall. It's in Algeria and the Sub Saharan colonies. Uh, is Africa still looking okay? Yeah, it's looking alright to me. Hello. I'll call them all in. There you go. And now they're all fighting over here. Uh, Russia did declare war on the Persians. Um, Westminster Court led by those guys. I would not recommend attacking their colony boys, but whatever. Yeah. You probably want a good defense more than anything else, really. Southeast Asia, or whatever. Oh my god. Nice. We lost a crap ton of planes. We got rid of two carriers, though. That's I'd say that's worth it. You know what? Screw it. That's worth it. Only a little bit of supremacy, huh? That really sucks. But do that anyways. They did naively invade in a few parts around here, so... It wasn't definitely perfect. Let's get more resources to work with now, which is really nice. Good on fuel. And we'll do that too. And where you at? There we go. And there we go. Go when you can, which I don't know if you'll ever be able to, but whatever. A little faster, it's nice. Help us defeat the Russians faster. Because we have pushed hard through these guys. Oh my god. Nice. Uh, we made some subs, as you can see, too. Subs are pretty useful. Well, useful creatures. Go on, just keep weakening them if you can. I just want you to encircle them, guys. And I'm getting there first. They're almost there. Do what you need. There you go, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, we actually tried to navy invade. Look at that. Should have paid attention. There you go. Nice. Logistics is always good. I'm gonna force it. There you go. Beautiful. Oh boy. Gary, oh, oh, well, that's not bad. Oh, we sunk another one. Oh, before they even got away. Oh my god. Oh, we lost was a dinky destroyer. Nice. One thing I didn't like about this is that you can't, like, manage. Uh, add people to well we did guarantee them but whatever um, your faction so I couldn't add the Polish Commonwealth to our faction which really sucks oh boy there's a lot of shit I need to get repaired ah there's a little thing over here too no thing. ah look at that beautiful beautiful my friends absolutely beautiful Industrial is the eastern part of America. Now that it's been made secure for investment, we must now invest, prepare for war. I mean, I guess technically we already did that. We're already okay. But okay. Admiral Dial. Yeah. Nice. And continue destroying them. These guys, they've lost. 2,000 to us, which is pretty decent. And we're over the land auction, finally. Recon? Do we have recon on our soldiers? 
They don't even have recon on them. We have enough arm XP anyways. Beautiful. Well, they lost their, the home islands. It's great. Oh my god. We lost a crap ton of planes. Two more carriers, a battleship, eight destroyers, a battle cruiser, a heavy cruiser, and a light cruiser. Very nice. Uh, the Portuguese are worthless still. That sucks. Can you go in? Go in when you can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Yay, we got him. There we go. Uh, there we go. Nope, looking good. Low pockets of resistance here and there, but whatever. Nice. I guess we might not even get down to a new era. Well, we still want to do that too, though. That'd be good. Um, strike of Bavaria. Well, they don't exist. Operation Corps de Alemán. Well, Germany's dead. Top of the Prussian government. Well, Germany's dead. And and Russian hegemony. Well, they're dead. Oh, they just joined our continental lines anyway. So, I don't know that. Austria or war, and Italy once and for all, and uh, Russian hegemony dismantled the United Kingdom. Well, we kind of already did. New era, so. Okay. Sounds good. You guys are bored. I don't really want to send you to Russia because supplies are going to be god awful, but I'm sending you to Russia anyways. Advance on Tierra. Very good. Prepare for war. Yeah, we can't even do that one anyways. That sucks. Well, let's, let's do this one. Prepare for the Catalonian region. Uh, they still have a couple things around here, huh? My god, when's Russia gonna die? Takes so long. There you go. There's a, there's a convoy. Oh, we actually have a couple fighters here. Look at that. Let's share the group at least a little bit. There you go. Nice. Well, Cyrus done for those guys. That's pretty good. Destroy the old rival. Sure. I don't think very much can really happen at this point now. Do you mean old rival by like Italy? I don't even have Sicily. Oh boy. Happy 43 years, everybody. So. Ah. Rubber plantations, actually, we don't have those anymore. Eh, whatever. Good. Oh, oh. God dang it. Hey, there goes Finland. Nice. Keep building yourselves up more and more and more and more and more and more. Hey, we got, look at all that territory we got now. I don't focus up there. I want to focus down in the south. That'd probably be better. Sorry, right, this would be great to get. So, okay, we just got it. We didn't even... I thought that would be, like, something to say that, hey, you probably got it, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, um, I guess we'll just finish up and kill off all the enemies, and then we'll probably call it a campaign. And there we have three eagles over the northern hemisphere. France.86.d. A new era begins. As the three eagles begin, the French Empire, the United States, and the Russian Empire will battle to keep their influence. Well, I'm gonna guess... I guess so, but honestly, I'd use Khan's commands because it didn't exactly piece out. In the end, Nepal was a great power, as well as Bhutan and Kiva. So I just pretty much annexed 
whoever I needed to annex so that we could just like get this all done. So we took out Manchuria, French Manchuria, Mongolia. And then the Poles, Polish got the Russian Empire led by Maxim Nikitin. Yeah. Um, but we're looking really good over here. This is looking pretty proper. I wish we could have a, you know, German puppet, but, you know, whatever. Um, the United States is still over here. Led by Taft. True, Dem true Democrats. Not those fake Democrats, but true conservative Democrats. With McNary. But, uh, I think I'm going to end it there. Just because I think I've done this for long enough. I've spent, like, two hours on this, though. Um, oh yeah, with these guys too here. Because I didn't want to go to war and go all the way down to Brazil. But, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. The polls finally joined, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.